I really don't know how this will come out. So uh, we've been kicked out of the convention in which we are all panelists at. Yeah, I'm a guest, man. <laughs> the fuck? I so, swear a lot, sorry. That's fine. So um, I was saying, I discovered you because I was collecting Dreamcast again. Mm -hmm. And I forget what the reason was, but I think that you had either gotten that serial connector. The GDMU? No, no, no. The, the old one. Remember oh, the serial? Uh, the SD card reader. Yeah, that, that's terrible. The one that goes through the serial port in the back. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Has a maximum read speed of 2 megabits per second. Actually, the speed wasn't the problem. It was the Dream Shell OS. Well, it's also it's because horrible. it is, but at the same time, although they updated it, but at the same time, it couldn't run most games because the read speed was insufficient. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So I think that was the one that I discovered first this is years and years ago. Oh, yes. And um, and at the time, it was just your hands. Yeah. <laughs> it was no Adam. It was just Adam's hands, like, touching these things and doing things with it over a table. And I was like, gee, I, you know, this, this guy's kind of... It's kind of strange, kind of annoying, yep. but uh, I'm going to keep watching it, and, and I, I did. So you do mostly pickup videos. Lately. Okay. Yeah. The lately is because I've been going to all these places, and then I end up getting shit. And I was like, well, this yeah. is what I have to talk about right now. But, you know, it's funny. I, I say, like, there's very few pickup videos that I will actually watch anymore mm -hmm. because I just feel like the people are arrogant about it. Mm -hmm. um, I watch you. I watch Metal Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, Peak Door, when he... I don't think he He's them. here. Yeah, I saw him earlier. I don't know if he does his videos as much, but his were cool. Um, but, you know, for, for the most part. So, why the hell are you doing YouTube videos again? Uh, well, I went through film school and stuff, and I wanted to make, you know, movies like everyone does. And so my production company figured out production, started yeah. making short films and stuff. And we're like, oh, we need to post this somewhere. YouTube. And then we realized very quickly you can't really make a living off short films. Yeah. So it was like, we need more content to try and expand our base and then we'll move on to films. So I was like, what can I do? Like video game videos. And I didn't realize I'd be tied to that forever. But that's okay, because I enjoy doing it. Um, so you're a Sega guy. Primarily. Okay. Um, so you were saying, like before we were saying, that you don't really collect NES or haven't gotten into it as much. Mm -hmm. I was, was going to ask the question during the panel, but I'm like, the other guys other than you, I don't think are as much collectors. Shane is a little bit, but at the same time, he's willing to get rid of anything. Yeah, right. Three reds. <laughs> so, the only thing that I was wondering is, there's like this weird thing where a lot of people don't go back mm -hmm. to Atari or even NES sometimes. They're mm -hmm. like, well, you know, I didn't grow up with that, so that's a cutoff point. Yeah, what do you think? I don't really have one. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I kind of, like, I got first-gen stuff. Yeah. Like, I have some Pong bullshit. Like, nice. but at the same, like, I guess if I had to say a cutoff, if you're like, you're gonna, you need to go out and find all the first gen consoles, like, I'm good. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Second gen stuff, though, bring on the 2600s. I don't have yeah. a problem with that. But like, I don't actively go after a lot of those because they just take up a lot of real estate. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's a financial factor and all that. But um, I mean, you, well, what's your feeling on like uh, the flash cartridges? I like them as a practical means, but like, I, I would. At best, I would use them to, if I was like, you know, there was a, like, let's say I was really into Super Nintendo, yeah. and there's Hagane, right? Yeah. A $2,000 game or whatever. Like, Is it? Yeah, it's insane. Um, so, like, the only reason, if I, if I was ever serious enough yeah. about that game, I would have to actually check it out on the, on the EverDrive and be like, do I really want to put down two grand on this game? Let me yeah. play it first, like, all the way through and make sure I actually love it to the point where I have to have it. That's so, that's the primary thing. Like so other than that, it's just a, a convenience thing. Your collecting is based on whether or not you like the game. No, uh, my collecting is based on what is affordable. Uh, well, I, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, because some people are just still like, well, I gotta get it. This everybody wants this game. Give me it. No, not really. It, it's more based on like my personal interests and what's collectible. Like, I really like the original Xbox, and it happens that it's also very very cheap. Yeah. Um, I love the Dreamcast. Look, luckily for me though. I finished collecting all of it when no one gave a crap about it. It was worthless. You couldn't give away Mars Matrix. Now it's like a $200 game. You know, and that was just a convenience thing. But like, there are some consoles where I go, no, Dreamcast is still affordable. Dreamcast is getting out of control real quick. For the games? Yes. Really? It's getting out of control real quick. Like, a lot of it, like, all right, so in here, there's a game called Elemental Gimmick Gear. I bought that for five bucks. Five bucks. In there, $60. And that's actually a decent price now. So, like, I got all that stuff when literally no one cared about it. Toys R Us is cleansing it, no one cares. Um, so, you, 
that was a combination of I really like it and it was affordable. Yeah. But like, I don't think I would, if you told me like I have to start all over on Dreamcast, I don't think I would. I just because it's too expensive. You, like, I would never try to get into um, TurboGrafx-16. I completely missed it. It's too late. It's too expensive. Done. Out. I have very, I have a very limited collection of TurboGrafx-16. Mm -hmm. I have the EverDrive, which mm -hmm. is great. You play everything, yep. all of the Japanese stuff that yep. we would never get or anything like that. And then, like Turbo CD, I have some repros. Believe it or not, I have some I have games. I, well, I have uh, Dracula X. Oh, nice. Yeah. I just have Mega Man. Yeah, there was a guy in uh, Canada. I know him, Jody. Jody, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know him personally. Yeah, yeah. He, he he did a nice job on that one. Yep. Yeah, he's uh, the one who gave me the Mega Man, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, but. But the thing is, I don't have a Turbo Duo. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to play it, like on a system system, I'll play it on the uh, modded Xbox. Yeah, yeah. It's as close as I could get without like going PC. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, I like I like to stick to consoles. I totally recognize all the benefits of PC. It's just never been my thing. No. Even though I am a PC user, not Mac. Right. Yeah. No Mac. Mac is shit. Uh, any questions from our cameraman? <laughs> Think of anything? What um, one of my um, the video one of the videos that you did that I really liked actually was um, when you compared the uh, the Genesis 32X and Sega CD with Corpse Killer versus with the, the Saturn. Saturn yeah. That was actually a really interesting interesting yeah. comparison. What what's your can you elaborate on that? Like, sure. Um, so it was just like a, a thing that I pondered for the longest time. Like 32X was a 32-bit machine technically. Sega CD was a CD drive technically. These things could work together. The Genesis. What is that capable of versus the Saturn? Right. And I was like, I don't think it's going to win, but I'm just curious what it was. And then I realized there was only one game that they both shared, which was Corpse Killer. And a lot of people are like, no, 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 Virtua Fighter. I'm like, Virtua Fighter didn't use the Sega CD no. in any way, shape, nope. or form. Corpse Killer 32X Edition used the Sega CD, the 32X, and the Genesis, and they re released it on the Saturn. Mm -hmm. The Saturn won hands down, which wasn't really surprising. But at the same time, I was just curious, like, what yeah. did that do? And that was, I made that video to answer my own curiosity. Mm -hmm. that was it, was, it was interesting, because I've never, I didn't even think that such a comparison could be made, but the fact that there was that, that I mean, it's not a great game to yeah, compare, but, I mean, but it, it's also it, not it's fair, so, because it doesn't use polygons, it's yeah. just using FMV. Yeah, it's, so really, it's, just a color, it's, it's really just a color palette issue. Yeah. It, it, exactly, it's not like the best option, but it's, yeah, it's literally got. the only option. Yep. It's almost like, uh, I don't know if you're as familiar with it, but if you go way back, Activision mm -hmm. had this weird policy where when they made things on 2600, 5200, uh, ColecoVision, mm -hmm. blah, 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 Commodore 64, they wouldn't, they would purposely <laughs> never up the graphics much more on the other systems. And, and they had this weird thing where they were like, well, if our 5200 or in television version looks this much different from 2600, no one will buy it, 2600, and it's this weird thing. So even though the, the, the systems were much more powerful, their cross-platform was like the same game. Yeah, uh, that's probably because they didn't want to hurt 2600 sales. Yeah, I agree it's dumb. It's I'm just thinking what they were probably thinking at the time. Yeah. 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 I definitely like the uh, the comparison videos that like you did with the Saturn VCD card. Oh yeah, like the, I, that, that, that silly driving game with the, yeah. with the girls. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember the name of that. And game. I can't either. It was released in North America, as it turns out, but it was, they stripped out all the girl stuff. Yeah. It was just racing. And the VCD. Yeah, and the VCD support. Because like, I didn't, you know, somebody told me like, hey, there's some games that work with that VCD card, and I was like, what does it do? They're like, that just makes the video quality better. I was like, okay. So somebody said he could get one. It was like a penny, literally a penny auction from Japan, because games yeah. are worth this over there. Uh, it was more, it cost more to ship it. And uh, so I got it and I checked it. I was like, what the fuck? This looks good. And I just like, I need to show people this. <laughs> that was it. That was all there was to it. Saturn, I mean, now even the systems are, are so difficult to, to get at a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. They just exploded. Exactly. Dreamcast is only uh, like a year away. They, from I mean, it, Dreamcast is mostly on that verge. We had said it in our panel. Like, Gen I didn't realize, people, like, I went on eBay. I'm done with Genesis. I have everything that I want game wise. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking on there, and I'm like, why are, these, why are these Genesis games 40 bucks? Yeah. There's millions of them out there. There's no reason for this. But it's this weird eBay thing now where it's like, you know, mom selling Johnny's uh, yeah. crap from the attic is done with. Yeah, that's because it's all gone, man. Everybody, it's, it's been enough time. That all yeah. Shit's, it's, there's not, you're not going to find too many moms selling Johnny's crap shit anymore. It's, it's over. You can't even find, like, like eight nine years ago, I used for the old old stuff like Atari stuff. Mm -hmm. I used to buy lots, 
even if I only wanted some of it, because it was so cheap in the left, a lot for somebody's console and all their games yep. it was like 40 bucks. And yeah, I'd take some of it and the rest I'd resell on eBay. Just just take the whole lot, just put it back up there and make like 20 bucks off yeah. or something. That, you can't even find those anymore. Mm -hmm. The best thing you can do actually is buy a lot of untested lots. And yeah. Just hope you can prepare them yourself. That's actually largely why I started making videos on how to clean bullshit, because I'm like, that's really all it takes. I wanted to help people save their consoles. Now you go to a lot of gaming stores, yes, indie stores all over the world then. Yeah, it wasn't really intended, it just kind of happened. You just do it. Now. When I happen to be somewhere, I'm like, let's find a store. My favorite one, though, is the Toy Rat. Mine too. <laughs> In Milton, Ontario. That's At first, this guy is... Ivano, man. man. He is hilarious. Yeah, he's a good dude. And you know how I found him? I saw a video of, of the Toy Rat, whatever, and, and then all of a sudden I was like, all right, he's doing this like video tour of the store. And then he had previously done tours of restaurants. Yeah, he is... Where, yeah, his family owns one. Right, right, so he's like in the restaurant, and this guy's like selling the restaurant. Like he's in the kitchen, and he's talking. I'm like, this guy is hilarious. Mm -hmm. So I watched all of his videos. I don't watch all of them, as many as I used to. So this guy, uh, there's a there's a store. It's called Toy Rat. It's up in Canada. Yep, Milton, Ontario, Canada. Which is closer to you. Forget about us. It's way out there. Uh, actually, you are closer. Really? It's a seven-hour drive, whereas for me, it's eight. I only know Shane drove that. <laughs> That's crazy. So this this guy, so his store is like a warehouse, but it's it's immense. It has games and and vinyl and just everything in there. Mm -hmm. But the best thing about this guy's videos is him, the way he describes it. He has all these like weird like goofy anachronisms, and he used to do it with this guy who, who he called the man with the tan. Yeah, he's is still he's, there. He, oh, he's still he, he still works there. I just I think I just stop Doesn't, being interested in it because like. I think actually what happened is he needed a camera guy, then he got an iPhone, and I was like, oh, I can just do it myself. I don't need to bother everybody. He didn't have to schedule shit anymore. They do this goofy thing where like the, you know, they get like Zelda Wind Waker in, and it's like, there's the Wind Whacker. Yeah. Like just goofy uh, stuff. So he's he's exactly money. like that in person. I imagine. Really that. cool yeah. guy. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I see every time you go up there, you do like another video, and he gives you a lot of shit. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. It wasn't the way it was intended, but it, was, it did happen, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, that dude gave me a Japanese PSX for free. The, the PS2 with the, a hard the, drive in it. Oh, that the DVR, DVR one. DVR yeah, thing. I did a video on it if, you, if you're curious, but like, yeah. it's a weird machine. And he just gave it to me with the box and everything. Yeah, yeah nice guy. Hell of a nice All right, guy. now we're, we're getting baked, so. Yeah. Adam, appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much for having me, Greg. Thanks.